Hey guys, so I had this idea of making a video once every week showing you each sale like shipment process of every day just so you guys get an idea of how I ship my items out and in what quantity. So first off, I want to go to PayPal and print my packaging slips. I'm going to cover up this half of the screen so you don't see the, the people's names and um, information like that. And this video and in particular this screenshot isn't to show off how much money I'm making and to say I'm better than you and all this. I'm just showing you like the behind the scenes as to what it looks like for when I'm printing out and um, doing my shipments. So I'm going to scroll down and see how many sales I've made. Now have in mind, this was through the period, the Easter holiday period from about Friday, Saturday, Sunday and today which is Monday. I didn't get to ship out anything um, today on Monday because all the post offices were closed. They opened back up tomorrow which is Tuesday. So what I'm going to do tonight. Monday night. I'm going to do my shipments all tonight and then have them ready in the morning so I can just drop them off at the post office, not have to worry about them and then just thrift the whole day tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is scroll down and count how many items I've got to ship out and I must mention it was really, really slow this Easter period. It just died down so much. Um, it was really bad. It's starting to pick up actually like this Monday night. I've just already made like a couple of sales. As you can see, it's the 28th, so I've made about five sales today, which is actually pretty good, so um, it's starting to pick back up again. The 27th, I didn't make a sale, as you can see here. I didn't make one sale. All right, so let's just quickly count and see how many items um, I need to ship out for tonight. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I'm going to do is print the packaging slip for each individual item, and then um, I'll gather the items up together to get ready to ship them out. All right, so while I've got those slips printing there in the background, I just want to show you some of the stuff that I sold. So in there, I've got some Nerf guns. I just sold those. So here they are. They actually sold for $32. Um, and I've only got two, four, I've only got six of the bullets here, but... Um, I think I might have to search through the guns. Yeah, the guns have got other bullets inside if you can see that. I'm just going to have to count the ammunition and just um, make sure that I've got enough there. I think I've got two, four, six. Yeah, so I've just got to count the ammo and just make sure it's all there. There should be 14. I also sold this Ralph Lauren sweater here for $29. The next item was a pair of these nudie jeans and these sold for $40. Next sale was uh, this RM Williams shirt for 25 bucks. Okay, next sale was a SMS Santani cycling jersey. And this sold for $19.99. I'm also just about to ship out this long sleeve giant cycling jersey. I paid about $8 for this one and it sold for $40. Also got to ship out this Ermin Gildo Zegner suit jacket blazer. I sold this for $40. And honestly, I could have got a lot more for this, but um, it's just been sitting for quite a while. so. It's got to get it out the door, packaged up, ready to go. So there it is. Next shipment is this Rhodes and Beckett suit jacket. Um, this sold really cheaply, 25 bucks. I remember I only paid like $3. I got two of them, another one I'm still selling. And these took a really long time to sell. So I wouldn't, you know, particularly recommend picking these up. This was kind of like an experiment item for me. And it, from experience, took a pretty long time to sell. However, it sold. All right, next one was this Ralph Lauren polo shirt. It's medium custom fit, and it actually has two ponies at the front there. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it here in the photos. Yeah, so it has two ponies, sold for $40, and this actually sold to someone in Malaysia. So the next item was this Tommy Hilfiger zip-up jacket. I sold this for $50, and I picked it up for $15. And if you could feel this right now, it's wet. Reason being is because I just washed it. And the reason why I washed it is because I've been wearing it. And um, I just want to make a confession right now. Sometimes I wear like some of the stuff that I buy to sell. Just a warning and a disclosure, try not to wear the things that you're going to sell. Sometimes, and yes, yeah, sometimes this happens. You get a bit of a stain there and it doesn't come out. And because um, sometimes you might get a stain on it and then you can't get that stain out. And if it's sold, you've got to communicate to the buyer and tell them that it's got a stain and you got to cancel the order and it's happened to me before so it's risky business so just make sure that you be careful but um, this is wet I've got to hang this out and hopefully it'll be dry for tomorrow and I'll ship it out then and you know what they got a free wash as well also if you enjoyed this type of video just let me know um, I'd like to get a bit of feedback about it it's a bit different to what I normally do 
I'm not sure if I should do this for like a weekly base video or maybe daily because if I do it weekly I've got to edit all the different day videos together to make one video and I think it just makes more sense as soon as I finish making the video for one day of shipment I just might as well upload it you know so I might stick to doing a daily shipment video or something like that so we'll see how it turns out but um, comment down below let me know what you think give it a good thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and remember, I've got a contest coming soon. So, so once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.